speaking of American leftist heroes, um, and and Jack, you said that you wanted more of them. So I, I'm very thankful to people like uh, Elon Musk. Uh, you know, sure, sure, yeah. Warrior. Our um, new, our new left heroes. Our new really, left hero, yeah. He tweeted a very pro coup uh, statement. Yeah, where he actually said, "What would like we have? We'll coup whoever we want to coup." Yeah, they were like, you know, you're doing a coup for lithium, and he was like, "We'll coup whoever we want to." Like very, very uh, uh, flip about it. Yeah. Yeah, it became really um, viral within Bolivia. Political speeches um, have included the reading of that tweet, including Evo's big final uh, return home speech at the airport in Chimore. He read it himself. He read it um, in a folder with all sorts of who knows, pages of tweets, of excerpts, of uh, communiques of U.S. officials and stuff like that, which was like an indictment of all the different interference that he says these people had in the designing of the coup in Bolivia. Hermanas y hermanos, la nota de prensa, la respuesta del magnate de Vela, que la fábrica de automóviles eléctricos de Estados Unidos financió los promotores del golpe de Estado en Bolivia. So it was really interesting. We did record the whole of it. Um, he he read all of the different things where it was like a congressman saying, we entered Bolivia for their lithium. And then, wow. um, and then of course, the Elon Musk tweet as well. So everyone knows about that. And it's just exactly just uh, confirming what everybody already thought. It's not really about this individual Elon sure. Musk or his um, company, but on a whole, it's just really obvious that you know in the very first days of the coup that that's what the that's what the regime aimed to do is just change the leadership the directors of all of the uh you know state companies and institutions and quickly start finding ways to try to showcase the country to the world the multinationals of the world and can you talk a little bit about the um why people are so invested in this and you know the role of lithium yeah, I think lithium is incredibly important. Lithium is uh, a natural resource that is used to make things like uh, batteries, batteries for electric cars. So people, you know, talk about it as like the the key strategic resource of the future. Um, and Bolivia has the largest supply of this, has the largest known reserves uh, so far of lithium. Um, and the idea under Evo Morales' government, which was beginning to be constructed, was that the Bolivia would be done under a Bolivian state company, the extraction process, but that they wouldn't just sort of sell it abroad as, you know, as just like cheap salt. They, they would actually industrialize the, the process and build value-added products, making batteries, making electric cars, and doing that within Bolivia um, by with a public company. So that means that instead of us exporting a cheap material, you're actually building these products with, and then you can export that, which is worth a lot more money. And then mm-hmm. the, the revenues and profits from doing that are kept within the country and not just within the country, but with, um, with the government. And that money can then be used for, for development, for reducing poverty um, and all of the uh, you know, expenses that one needs to run a country. That was the idea. 
So just as the coup was happening, the first, you know, this whole process was just beginning. The first car had been made. The first batteries are beginning to be produced. And then after the coup, the whole process was completely paralyzed. All of the plants that were making these products were suddenly closed down. For the whole year, the, the, the gates were closed. The whole process of extraction completely, completely paralyzed. And why was this? Part of, uh, well, we, we, both Camilla and I went to um, the, the area of the country where the lithium is based in the salt flats of Uyuni in the south of Potosi. And the people there said that what they're doing is destroying the project so as to make it attractive for a foreign company to come in and, and do it themselves, mm. you know? Um, that was the idea. And the government, and the government's economy minister in the beginning of the year said that in quite explicit terms, he said, we'll need at least, you know, a few foreign companies to come in and help us do this. That was the idea. Over the year, they didn't manage to bring in another company. Of course, the whole process of extracting and industrializing lithium is, in, is incredibly complicated. There's a huge amount of investment. Um, but yeah, that was certainly the plan to open it up to foreign companies. And now President Luis Arce has said um, that they'll restart the projects that they were before. But um, we went to that region as well with Evan Morales. And he, you know, he's passionate. He's really, really passionate about this it's on, on an almost personal level. And he was talking about how the plan for Bolivia was to build um, the majority of the world's processing plants for lithium. And then if you could do that, then you can decide the price. Then you're no longer subject to, you know, fluctuations in the stock market. Mm -hmm. You can actually enter the global economy on your own terms for your own benefit. Um, I think that, that would, that, that's a historic ambition, an historic project. And that's why they wanted to paralyze it. That's why they wanted to end it last year. And restarting it is going to be enormously complicated, but it's something that the government is committed to doing. So hopefully they, they can carry out and they can pick up where, where um, Evo Morales' government left off. But as I said, it's, it's a hugely difficult project, hugely expensive to do. So you going to have to come as part of the wider process of rebuilding the country's economy. I mean, Bolivia, when Evo Morales left power, was the fastest growing economy in South America. And now in just one year, they completely destroyed the economy. Um, unemployment has more than tripled uh, the economy at the moment. The most recent figures show that uh, the most recent contraction is minus 11%. It's a very, very serious crisis brought about by the fact that they paralyzed uh, all of these state development projects that were uh, already underway under Evo Morales' government. So all of that is going to have to be uh, rebuilt. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully the coming months we'll see the we'll see the beginnings of that.